hello everyone in the previous videos we learned the whole concept of table maintenance generator but we will cover some important points so i'll say the common mistakes which people are doing in case of table maintenance generator suppose i'll go for first point whenever you want to generate a table maintenance generator and you want to maintain that table using sm30 always always take display maintenance allowed whenever you want to maintain that table using sm30 please please take always display maintenance allowed anyways in the future videos we'll go for detailed explanation of these three options but as of now whenever you want to maintain that data in the table using sm30 take display maintenance allowed now we'll go for next important point now whenever you are adding new columns or field to that table the newly added field fields will not come automatically or i will say the newly added field will not appear automatically whenever you will maintain data with the help of sm30 we'll go for explanation of this suppose for this particular table we generated the table maintenance generator suppose i am adding a extra column to the table suppose d number suppose delivery number delivery number is also suppose numeric 10 you can see i added the extra column to the table i am activating that table but if i will go to sm30 and i will check there will that additional column automatically appear here no it will not appear just firstly what we did our table has five columns and we generated the tmg it means our tmg with the help of tmg we can only maintain the data of those five columns sixth column will not come automatically there so how i can maintain data or how the sixth column will appear there you have to delete the table maintenance generator and you have to regenerate again so i deleted the tmg and i will again generate the table maintenance generator find screen number and you can see now the sixth column will appear there if i will go to sm30 when i click down to maintain button I'll just is already opened. If I will show you the table again, and you can see now the sixth column appeared. So it's a important point. Adding the additional things to the table will not appear automatically whenever you want to maintain the data of those additional columns. Delete and again generate the TM. now what is the third important point deleting that tmg never means that your table data will get deleted if you saw i deleted the tmg but my table data is still there so never think that whenever you will delete the tmg your table data will delete no now many time people what they do they will display the table they will go to table maintenance generator and they will say 
that delete button is not there. How I can delete that table maintenance generator? Please, please go to change mode of that table and then you will be able to see the delete button. So these are the common mistakes which we are always doing the table maintenance generator. Now I will go for another one or two points. Now, our, this table has table maintenance generator. We went to SM30 and we maintained that data. Now, from here also, you can navigate to SM30. Suppose if I will go for utilities, table contents, create entries. And I'll just close that section so that it will be clearly visible. Utilities, table content, create entries. And you can see the same to same screen appeared, which we saw with the help of SM30. When we have not generated the table maintenance generator, then when we clicked on table content create entries, we maintained one one record at a time. But after generating the TMG, this option will also navigate you to SM30. Suppose if I will go to SC16, if I will click on to this create button, create entries button, you can see it is also navigating us to SM30. Suppose if I'm going to SC16N and here we have the button now view maintenance. If I will click down to this view maintenance button, now you can see it is also navigating to SM30. So conclusion is after generating that TMG from SC11, SC16, SC16 and also you can go to SM30. But in the real time projects, end users do not have the rights of SC11, SC16, SC16N. So they can directly go to SM30 and they can maintain that data in that table. But you from after generating that TMG from SC11, SC16, SC16, and also we can navigate to SM30. Or the conclusion is after generating that TMG, you have to do everything or you have to maintain that data in that table using that SM30. So that's it in this particular video. We'll go for the next topics in the next video. Thank you.